it's day 54, starting out in Topeka, Kansas. I packed in a lot today, so let's get started. I began the day at the farmer's market where I ate a delicious uh, breakfast tostada. It wasn't a breakfast tostada. It was a tostada, and it was morning time but it definitely was an afternoon delicacy. Anyways, it was delicious, and I also bought some banana bread, which was less delicious. After the farmer's market, I walked quickly around some of the area in downtown Topeka, saw the Capitol building. I saw a lot of people doing Zumba in the street, which was weird, but that happened. I saw this cool sign on top of a building and that's what happened in downtown Topeka. I made my way over to Monroe Elementary, which is a Brown versus the Board of Education historical site. And wow, this place is, is hard to explain. It is something else. It is a really important landmark. Uh, what follows this is the video I took from the car recording my thoughts right after I left. Um, so I won't say too much more right now. I was there for a couple hours. I only took one picture of the outside, nothing from the inside. Um, they had a really great video that I watched and a lot of great exhibits. So here are the thoughts from the car. Hey friends, coming to you from the parking lot of Monroe School um, in Topeka, Kansas. Just to record my quick thoughts, I know this is unusual, I have it on the video on the camera phone, so it's boop, boop, boop. Anyways, sorry. Um, just wanted to just say, the Monroe School is a Brown versus the Board education site, or historical education site, and uh, I did not expect to be so sucker punched when I was in there. Um, so I just want to say how important I think a site like this is. And uh, if you're in Topeka, Kansas, I highly, highly recommend it. It's free. Um, and it's so, so important. And however sincere you want to take this, don't make, or I'm uh, sorry, don't let anyone make you feel less than. Okay? See you later. So, as you can see, uh, afterwards I was feeling pretty um, overwhelmed, I guess is the best word to say, overwhelmed at how, um, how poorly um, people were treated, how, how far we've come, how far we still need to go with, with civil rights and equality and, oh man, a lot of a lot of feelings a lot of feelings when I walked out of the school there was a fire truck on the street uh, they were preparing for a sock hop as I understand it no children in sight I'll be honest and uh, they convinced me to get in the truck and have them take a picture of me so here's that uh, for you I also got a uh, junior firefighter sticker cuz I'm fancy and uh, they made a suggestion uh, for my next activity, which is the Dalton Defenders Museum in Coffeyville, Kansas. Coffeyville, Kansas is the tiniest town you ever did see, um, but I went to the Dalton Defenders Museum. So let's talk about um, the Daltons. It's um, the Dalton gang uh, tried to rob two banks in Coffeyville at the same time in the late 1800s. 1800s, 1890 something, 1892, according to the notes. Um, the gang had four members in it, and as they crossed um, the plaza to get into the banks, the townspeople recognized the gang, decided to raise an alarm, uh, arm themselves with weapons, and uh, go after the gang themselves. When the outlaws? Bandits? When the gang members um, were leaving the bank, 
uh, they were fired upon by the uh, good citizens of Coffeyville, Kansas. Four of the five uh, members of the Dalton gang were killed. The fifth one was severely wounded, but he did survive. And four of the citizens of Coffeyville were um, killed as well. What's weird about this is there's like a little museum for it. Most of it is um, really old stuff that has nothing to do with the Daltons. Um, but they did have the doors to one of the banks, I think First National Bank, and then one of the safes that they cracked into. Um, so that was kind of cool. They had a DVD that I did not watch because it was 46 minutes and who has that kind of time? After that, I took the historical walking tour um, down the street to Death Alley where they have outlines from where some of the gang members were killed and they have their names on their outlines so that's handy. They also had the old jail there which is where they housed the bodies of the dead outlaws overnight while they awaited their burial. Anyways that is the story about the Daltons and Coffeyville, Kansas. It was sort of another one of those really funny, not funny but yeah, no, we'll just go with funny. It was a funny little tourist stop on my way to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is where I ended my evening. I got to Tulsa a little bit late, just before sun was setting, and set off to find the Golden Driller, which is a really tall statue of a driller uh, outside of their convention center. So that's what you're seeing now, tall driller, golden driller, and that's the end. This has been day 15. Four brought to you by Brown versus the Board of Education. I'll say, go Dalton Defenders Museum, Alexis in a fire truck, and a really tall driller. See you tomorrow. Bye.